Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, it is my great pleasure to introduce three executives from DataSide. How has DataSide sales organization evolved and grown over the past four years? In the last four years, uh, in terms of evolution, DataSide has seen uh, some quite dramatic change. We have gone from being a multi kind of business company uh, in the financial print, SEC disclosure, uh, fund management space, and virtual data rooms to just being, uh, to divesting those businesses and now being 100% focused on data site. And we've, in the Americas, doubled revenue in the last four years. What would you say is your secret sauce? So from a cultural standpoint, we really have focused on uh, the customer and put the customer from sales, service, marketing at the front of everything that we do. Uh, from a product standpoint, we've put the customer at the forefront of everything that we do. And as we've scaled the sales team, I think what we've done a good job of is adding the, uh, the tools and the structure and the process around the sales team to make them more effective. So Natilla, what type of tools does DataSide invest in to make the sales success a reality? We have created a really great onboarding system. So when you come on board on DataSide, you have a dedicated trainer as well as your manager uh, working closely alongside you. And you have also Sellers University online, which uh, you complete with your trainer and your manager. And um, it walks you th through the product. You sit with different departments uh, through DataSite with marketing, our excellent customer service, inside sales. And it's also a great environment because you learn each day. You learn from your colleagues by attending client meetings with them, client calls and all that. I suspect that part of your success is really due to the fact that uh, you have sales enablement and sales operations under one roof. Uh, do you think that makes a difference? It makes a difference because they all sit together and they enable us with the tools that we need and they work closely together with us to make us successful as sellers in the market and especially right now finding creative ways to stay in touch and to enable us with the tools we need for our clients as well. Desmond, could you uh, enlighten us? Uh, what ongoing training does uh, DataSide provide to sellers? So it all starts from the beginning with a very you know, strong sales enablement team um, and, and we have a whole suite of different resources and training resources, internal and external, to train us on the CRM tools, um, social networking platforms, um, even, you know, corporate case studies, you know, just so that we really understand the personas of all the different clients that we are selling into. Um, you know, I, I cite a good example as well, you know, for instance, in, in the most recent times in, with, with COVID-19, we instantly switched gears and we started to understand what our clients really require and we pivoted the entire business just within you know a week. Mark why don't you tell us a little bit uh, about your team selling approach and how the, uh, you create collaboration that drives success. That really starts with culture for us so we put a real focus at the beginning of their joining data site on you know what our culture is we reinforce that with you know what good looks like uh, we reinforce our focus on the customer so that if somebody goes into a sales cycle and they need to work with other people on the team, they're all working the same way. They all have the same agenda. Following culture, I think communication and communication of that culture has been key. And then I think the third thing I would maybe highlight around our team selling approach is we don't have rules of engagement. We have guidelines of engagement. So we treat our sales team very professionally, articulate the intent of how we want team members to work with each other. And we then let them work on the details per the very specific sales cycle that they are, are in. Tell me how you as sellers viewed those opportunities to interact mm -hmm. with this very diverse buying community. We sit at the center of leading M&A deals and IPOs globally. So when you're a seller at data side, it gives you the opportunity to be involved and engaged in that decision-making process on a day-to-day -day basis. And you get to call to 
the CEOs of this world of leading companies. You get to speak to a managing director at JP Morgan or a partner at Latham and Watkins. And that's something that I found really unique about this job as a seller because you get the chance to sit at the same table with super smart people from diverse backgrounds with a lot of experience and you learn every single day from them. Also just the opportunity to build your own professional brand in this industry. Uh, earlier today, I was speaking to a managing director from Goldman Sachs who covers insurance companies. And he was asking me, what do we see as data set right now? What type of deals are happening? Uh, what's going on in the market? Uh, what use cases are happening? And that is really cool if after five years, you have those people uh, come to you and see you as an expert and as a thought leader and ask you for your opinion. Datasite has been uh, included in the top 50 list of the best companies to sell for by selling power. What opportunities does Datasite provide sellers for growth and career opportunities? Each day has been a new challenge. Each day I have been learning and each year there has been a new opportunity. They have been great about promoting the people, seeing talent, and creating the roles that let you expand in your career. The company has extended all form of lateral and upward mobility across teams, functional groups, and regions. I mean, as long as there's, there's good performance and, and you know, they detect a good form of integrity and hard work. And I would, I would say it's really one of the best companies I've, I've, I've worked for. Um, every year of experience at data site is worth two or three years worth of experience at, at another company. So, you know, folks who have joined the team in our sales associate program are now in leadership roles. People who joined in New York have maybe moved to London. So we've moved people around um, and given opportunities for growth and experience and travel. And uh, I think that that helps us attract talent, but more importantly, it helps us retain talent. Describe the key elements of the incentive program. So our incentive program, um, people start off with a compensation plan. Um, we have that highly leveraged towards performance goals. Those include not only uh, individual goals, but sellers have performance uh, goals set at their team level. We use spot bonuses to drive a very specific behavior in a in a short space of time. We are transparent about performance so people can see how they're doing and see how their peers are doing. We reward team selling. So uh, people perform how or, or are incentive based on their compensation plan. So we reward team selling and drive that. So we celebrate that success with a, a two, three day getaway and uh, acknowledge uh, in, in different categories, uh, elite uh, performance. One of the things that I was most proud of at our last uh, elite uh, accelerator club, when all of the winners were going up from all of the theaters, uh, everybody was standing up and clapping and cheering on their teammates, not just from their teams within the theater, but uh, the America's team was celebrating the, the Amir team and the Asia teams performance and similarly they were celebrating the America's team's performance and, and that's a pretty powerful thing to be to be part of. Well I want to thank you all uh, Mark and Nutella and Desmond that was a very enlightening conversation. Uh, I think uh, you you've well you've done very well describing the secret sauce uh, explaining why uh, Datasite is one of the best companies to work for. Thank you very much. Thank you Gerhard.